Good morning, welcome to our virtual Sunday morning worship. We all join in together with the words in white. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He has given us new life and hope. He has raised Jesus from the dead. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. And we pray together. Faithful one, whose word is life, come with saving power to free our praise, inspire our prayer and shape our lives for the kingdom of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we're going to sing our first hymn. This is Psalm 23, The Lord is My Shepherd. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want He makes me lie in pastures green He leads me by the still, still waters His goodness restores my soul and I will trust in you alone and I will trust in you alone for your endless mercy follows me your goodness will my ways in righteousness and he anoints my head with oil and my cup it overflows with joy I feast on his pure delights and I will trust in you Jesus Christ, risen Master and triumphant Lord, we come to you in sorrow for our sins and confess to you our weakness and unbelief. We have lived by our own strength and not by the power of your resurrection. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived by the light of our own eyes as faithless and not believing. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived for this world alone 
and doubted our home in heaven. In your mercy, forgive us, Lord, hear us and help us. So may the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading today is from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, beginning to read at the first verse. Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of a stranger. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved, and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to kill and steal and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Here ends the reading. Our dog Henry can be a little bit naughty at times. Actually, that's a bit of an understatement. When we were deciding what sort of dog to have, what breed to buy, we thought that he would be a good choice because he's got Poodle in him and Poodles are supposed to be quite intelligent. So therefore he should be easy to train. And he has been easy to train, but at times he's actually way too intelligent for us and he just runs rings around us. One example is his recall. Henry is very good at coming to us when we call him so long as he wants to come. If he's doing something that he wants to do, then he will look, at, look up at us, see that we're calling him, and then just ignore us and carry on with what he was doing before. When we first got him as a puppy, one of the first things that we had to do was teach him his name. This meant that we had to use it frequently when speaking to him or playing or feeding him. Henry very quickly learnt his name, especially when there was food involved. Now when we call him, he knows that we are calling him. He's just a little bit selective in whether he wants to come to us or not. In Jesus' day, in the evening, the shepherds would bring their sheep and put them into the fold. But the one fold would hold several different flocks of sheep from different shepherds. So in the morning, the shepherd would come and would call their sheep. Amazingly, the sheep grew to understand the voice of their own shepherd and so would only come when their shepherd called. They wouldn't go for another shepherd. Jesus is using this illustration when he says that the shepherd calls the sheep and knows them by name. He's using it to explain the relationship between God and his people. You see, Jesus knows us intimately and he comes to the sheep pen and he calls our name. Jesus calls to each one of us to come to him, but not all sheep in the pen come. We are like those sheep. We need to learn to hear when Jesus is calling us to come to him. There are lots of voices calling to us. Our lives are full of noise, of different people clambering for attention, of different voices, of opinions. Life is full of distractions. Distractions that drown out the voice of God. Things that make us too busy to stop and listen to him. Things that make it tough for us to come to him when he calls to us. And then totally out of the blue, along comes a dreadful disease, a horrid virus that keeps all of us at home. Now there are not so many voices calling to us, not quite so many demands on our time, not so many distractions. I wonder in the silence of the lockdown, can we take the time to listen to God, to hear him calling us by name, to hear what he is saying to us, 
to hear what he is calling us to be and what he wants us to do for him. You see, we have a choice, just like Henry Dog. When Jesus calls, we can ignore God and just carry on with what we were already doing. Or we can tune in and we can receive the life that Jesus has for us. But of course, just as we had to teach Henry Dog how to hear our voice, we too have to learn how to hear God's voice when he calls. This way we will not be distracted by any false teaching that might come our way. We do this by spending time with God in prayer and in Bible study, regular, daily prayer and Bible reading. The more time we spend with God in this way, the more easily we will be able to hear his voice and the more easily we will be able to decipher what it is that he's asking us to do. And right now, lots of us have got lots of time on our hands, more time than we would otherwise have. Amen. Let us declare our faith in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures. He was buried. He was raised to life on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Afterwards he appeared to his followers and to all the apostles. This we have received and this we believe. Amen. And so let us bow our heads for our prayers of intercession. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my requests before you and wait expectantly. O oh dear Lord, we pray for the spread of the virus to stop as quickly as it started in this country and in every country in the world. We bless the health of the people in this locality, that they may be strong and well. And in Jesus' name, we resist any sickness or disease which seeks to invade this town. And to every person here we say, in the name of Jesus, be strong and be healthy. And to any who are sick right now, we bless you in Jesus' name with a speedy recovery. Lord, in your mercy... Hear our prayers. Lord, we pray for strength and protection for all medical staff in the NHS, for those working in social care and for those in frontline professions. We pray especially for the quick provision of PPE for every person that is at risk in their work. May the channels be open, O oh Lord. Father, be with those in care homes being apart from their loved ones, and be with the families who have been bereaved at this time, that they may know your comfort. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we bring before you all those under pressure in their own homes, anxious and fearful of whatever age, that they may know the peace of Christ. We thank you for the loving kindness shown in the community to one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, may we look back on this time as one where we have been open to hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches and being prepared to obey his call. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we say together the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples, and said, Peace be with you. 
Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. So go in the peace of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Our final hymn is Be the Centre. Jesus. 